Hi everyone, welcome to another five minute game. I'm playing an international master. Um, it's a pretty boring opening. Whatever. This is, uh, like I mentioned many times before, the problem with this opening is it's very tough against lower rated people. Oh, I'm just about to learn this line, but I haven't learned it yet. I'm so close to learning it. It's ridiculous. But I'm just still not quite there. So instead we're going to get some pretty boring position where it's hard to generate too much in, in terms of winning chances. But what are you going to do? I really need to learn this other line because I actually I think black gets real nice chances there. Um, it's on the horizon. It will be coming soon. And basically the idea is I would take with the knight on d on d4 instead of taking with the the um pawn. I think I'm supposed to go like knight f5 somewhere, like here. I think of knight d4 as sack the exchange. No, that's not true. Well, I can't remember. No, knight d4 I can win an e pawn maybe. I can't remember, man. I used to have some ideas here. Lord knows what they are, though. I remember some exchange sacrifices in some positions. But I can't recall. I mean, I guess I'll just do this, but it's... Ah, uh, all right. Let's put the queen somewhere. D7, I guess. All right, I'm going to take it. Oh, maybe that was bad move order. Crap. I could have taken on D4 and then won a pawn on E2. It sucks, so I didn't. Now... Oh, so ridiculous. All right, well, maybe queen E, maybe queen H3 is good. Let's just think. Queen H3, he has to move his knight to D4. Um, let me think here. I mean, also I could just go bishop f5, maybe, or bishop h3. Let's do that. Sorry, I took forever on that move. Um, I just was trying to figure out if I had some like really strong move somewhere. I think what he's going to do, if he'll go knight to d4, oh, b4, really? Somehow it seemed risky to me, but... uh. His idea is he's going to win my pawn. All right, Greg, focus. I don't know what to do. Rook to A to D8. It's kind of cause some annoyance. Maybe he'll be scared to take. I don't know. Probably bishop g5 is strong, but the e2 pawn is always there. I feel like I shouldn't be worse, even if I lose a pawn, although bishop g5 is very annoying, i got to be honest. It's a very annoying move. I don't know how to use this bishop to attack him, unfortunately. Let's think, bishop g5. Rook, I don't know where to put the rook, rook c8, knight takes d5, it's just like a nightmare. Nightmare is a strong word, but it's like not, it's not fun. Alright, I, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to go here real fast, but, uh, you know, time game and stuff, got to make some quick moves. Now, what's the deal here? I think queen... Queen takes, and maybe then king h8. 
I just gotta get my king out of this um this constant situation. <laughs> I think. This is not a fun move to make, but I can't deal with the night checks. I should have just played more passively, man. This sucks. Down a pawn. I do have some threats around this king vaguely. Okay. Um Is this any good? I don't know. Let's check. He can block with the, the bishop probably he did. Um but it seemed like slightly irritating for a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. B three. Oh, I just blundered my exchange now. This is really good, Greg. What a what a total collapse. In this game, I've just been off. Um, maybe he won't see it. He hasn't seen it yet, so... Hopefully he's going to play some positional move. If he goes knight 8, they can see 7, the game's over. I can I can really just resign, because... Um, he can take on e8, then go queen d8. I'll just go a4 or something. Queen d3, come on, man. I promise I'll play better after... Okay, good. Second life! <laughs> Alright, now, what to do? I feel so alive. Um, rook d8, I suppose. Such glorious freedom. I gotta get my bishop out of there before g4 happens. Just so you guys know. It's a little bit scary. Alright, um... It's a pretty strong looking move. Very strong looking move. I guess f6. Don't know what else to do. It's horrible as it is to play that move. Just don't know what else to do, guys. But I'm still alive, which is my dream. Alright. I mean, I have a, definitely a horrendous position still. But, I didn't have to resign. Which is a beautiful thing. So I can just try to somehow make something happen. I'm going to go h5 and can, uh, let's check him real quick. <sighs> blockade that pawn. Go king h7. Just blockade everything, baby. He had bishop a5, by the way. We were just every move, he has a chance to win instantly and he misses it. Um, queen a6, I suppose. Alright. It's not going to be so easy. My position, like, everything's defended now. Soon I might even be up on time, which will be a glorious thing. <laughs> um... Go back. I gotta move faster, Greg. I gotta move faster. Um, where's he going? I need to go a5. Kick his stupid bishop away. You can take on a7 now. Help me. Uh, I don't know what to do. Ooh, that was not good. Focus, Greg. Take with a rook. All right, that was a horrible move that I played. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, I'm going to lose. But, you know, almost. How do I get stalemated here? It's not going to be easy. Give it a shot, though. Damn, it's so close. Now it's mate and one. All right, there goes all my rating points. Such a huge disaster that game. Well, anyway, guys. Whatever. I played a lot, of, a lot, a lot of bad moves that game. It required. 
He had so many ways to win instantly, and he missed them. Yeah, whatever. Horrible game. I'll see you guys later, man. How many points did I lose from that debacle? Jeez, 27 or some crap. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.